Hey love bugs, it's Roz, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful vibes you send me each and every day. You open up your lives to tell me how your empathic gift has impacted your life and how it's put you in a positive place or hitting you towards a positive place and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i love to get the positive feedback or even if it's you know about the empathic gift you know that's been placed upon your life and how, you know, it brought you from a negative impact to a positive purpose. And, you know, where has it gotten you past then? So, if you feel like it's, um, the video has put you in a good place or has gave you good knowledge, go ahead and pass it on to the next person. Give the thumbs up, like, and even share. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And I hope you're able to get something out of the video content of my video today and the music that I'm listening to today is angelic healing music for sleep 432 Hertz healing sleep music deep sleep miracle music I will post that link in the description box below and my video today is about impasse don't worry it's coming it will come at the right time at the right place for the right reasons you know when we've been going through so much and we're heading towards something very big and very great we could be going some going through so much stress so much heartache we have to feel like we have to have it right now because it's just stress is just telling you you know it's not gonna come or you need to hurry up and get this before this happens and you have to just worry you know not even just worry about it you know that in divine timing it will happen for you in divine you know I have to tell myself that because it was just like I'm in a situation or whatever and you get frustrated you know and it's like it doesn't have to be a really bad impact or it can be a really happy one but it's just like you know if you're ready to be in a di different atmosphere you're ready to be in a different scenery and we we think that way you know it could be in a job it could be you know dealing with a relationship it could be dealing with friends it could be dealing with family members and you have to be able to know everything has a purpose everything serves a purpose you know you have to go through things to get to things you have to lose your mind to find it you know and you have to go through the hard pain to appreciate the joy so you know everything has a counterweight to it everything has a balance you know so it's just like you have to be patient i have to tell myself that all the time because we don't have patience we don't we want that microwavable stuff but you have to be able to have that solid foundation for anything that you want in life because if we get it too early you might mess it up you have to think of it that way you have to think about you know there's a reason that I'm not getting it right now. Maybe I'm not healed up all the way. Maybe I'm not, even though I'm thinking I'm ready for it. Mentally, I'm not ready for it. Emotionally, I'm not ready for it. So you have to be able to heal and know that the universe is preparing something great for you. And know that things are happening for a reason. You have to be patient. You have to tell yourself. You have to be patient. You have to, and I, I'll be sitting here cross my eyes. Or right, pull my hair sometimes. But then you have to tell yourself, you know, there's a reason behind everything. There's a reason behind every joy that you have. There's a reason behind every pain. So you have to be able to appreciate the good to get the bad. Well, you have to appreciate the bad to get the good. You have to be able to appreciate the sorrow to have the laughter. So you have to be able to have those things. And when you're not grateful for everything that you go through, you know, they don't, you're not going to have things come into your life. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have to do that every time. And I learn every day, you know, if I'm not able to appreciate the bad things that go on in my life. And it's like, why do you want to appreciate the bad things? Because you have learned something out of those bad situations. Just like you learn things out of good situations, you know, you you know, if you set up your mom always told you don't stick your hand on that stove, you know, with us being little, you know, we were like, why, why, you know, because children, they don't know fear unless you put that into them, you know, they don't know, you know, just like if people say, oh, you're born this way, or you're born that, you're born hating somebody, or no, you're not, that has to be taught, that has to be learned, you know. 
and it has to be around your surroundings or whatever but it's just you have to appreciate everything to get everything you know so be patient know that there the universe is working is but off to get you where you need to be long as you know that you're putting that effort in and putting that work in to do your half trust and believe you're going to get yours anyway so just be patient keep it to yourself do what you need to do to improve yourself along that way get to know yourself and be able to be in that good company of self because you know if you're not your own good company you're not going to be somebody else's good company either so I hope you are able to get something out of this video. I hope you had a blessed week or well, you're starting off to have a blessed week. If not, know that you can always start off again tomorrow. So now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Sorry about being so short, but, you know, it calls for what it calls for. So, send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And, you know, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or, you know, just send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And, you know, you know you get it in return. So, I will see you on my next video. Know that you are blessed and highly favored and know that you are always truly loved. And know there is always a mind that praying for your better days. So I will see you on my next video. Stay blessed, stay prosperous. Peace. Be wild.